What do you think a good communication plan looks like in terms of building the business going forward? The principles of marketing are still there. They're still digital media, social media, PR, advertising, direct mail. Everything that you were doing before is still good. What's changed is your target market. Maybe all the offices around you were your lunch crowd and now there's no one in those offices anymore. And maybe they live in Alpharetta and you're in Midtown. So they're not your target market anymore. You may never see those people again. So you really have to redefine your target market. If it's the people in the apartments and the residences around you who are gonna come in for lunch, do they still want the same thing for lunch that those office workers did? That's where marketing has really changed up. And what I've recently learned is that we've always looked for demographics. What's your age and gender? What are the demographics of the market? And right now, it's people who feel comfortable dining at a restaurant and people who don't. Those are the buckets and you have to go for the ones that wanna dine in a restaurant. You're not gonna convince someone who doesn't feel comfortable dining out to come into your restaurant. So we have to let these people sit until they're ready. And we have to look at these people who may not have been someone we would have looked at ever before. But if they're ready to come in, then let's give them a reason to come in from a messaging standpoint, really emphasizing cleanliness and safety. And you don't have to be so overt about it, but a photo of someone wiping down a table or a, a server in a mask with friendly eyes, just make them comfortable. Show them that they can come in and have a good time and have a good meal. And then lastly, you gotta solve the problem, just like you always do in marketing. The problem may be, where am I gonna go for lunch? I have got to get out of this house. What are the kids gonna eat? I'm tired of cooking, I've gotta give the kids something. Or my husband needs a night off from cooking. What can I do to treat someone special and still be within the parameters of whatever the rules are right now? And so the marketing message is really, really important.